Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Ask Jimmy Smith. Today, I'm really excited to be able to bring to you a video that's actually a part of a series of videos that I did in my private Amazon Replens Facebook group. And that Facebook group is reserved for people that have gone through my Amazon course and have elected to be a part of the uh, membership group where I ultimately post updated content all the time. Uh, we've got over 75 extra videos in that group that's not a part of the course and that's not on YouTube and all these other things that I do because I like to make sure that there's updated content relevant to the replen seller specifically on how to grow and scale their business, but also how to handle different issues that can come up in their business. And so uh, this video is a part of that series of videos uh, regarding account health. And I actually sat down with an expert named Scott Margolius, and he handles account health issues for sellers. He's actually been an e-commerce seller longer than I have because uh, we started in December of 2015. I don't remember when Scott started specifically, but he's been on the e-commerce platforms and in that world longer than I have. So he has a wealth of knowledge and experience. Now he does an excellent job at handling these account health issues for people and is the premier expert that I recommend in my group and that I see recommended in so many other e-commerce and specifically Amazon Facebook groups. And one of the reasons for that is because he wrote the book on how to handle account health issues within your Amazon seller account. And the book is actually named Amazon Plans of Action, Proven Tactics for Winning Appeals by Scott Margolius. And I'll put a link to this in the description, as well as a link to his website in the description, which is ecomsellertools.com. Now, Scott uh, was gracious enough to give me two hours plus of his time to answer a ton of questions. I believe we went through over 30 different questions. Uh, and so what I wanted to do is, while I have these series of videos uh, in my private Amazon Replens Facebook group, I wanted to take a few of them and, and make a mini series of videos uh, for the general public and general audience on YouTube. And so what you're seeing today is one of those videos. If you'd like to see the rest of them as I post them, I will create a playlist just for account health health so that you can go and, and take a look at some of those questions. And really, they're going to be the more uh, broad questions that appeal to everybody. And so hopefully you find some amazing value in this, as I know you will. Again, if you want to learn anything else about Scott, please head over to his website, ecomsellertools.com. Uh, he is just a wealth of information. He's helped me personally and in, in some different things with our Amazon account. And his book has just been instrumental into how we decide to craft our appeals when we are reaching out to Amazon to appeal some of these issues that can crop up. And so I hope that this is a video that you find of value. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and also please comment with questions or any other issues that you might think that you'd like me to cover on, on this channel. I'd love to hear your comments, and I typically am able to respond to each and every one, at least at the time of this recording. And so thank you so much for watching this. I hope that it blesses you and helps you and that you have a great rest of your day. The first question I've got for you, Scott, is how can sellers be most prepared to handle account health problems. So as they come up, how can they be prepared to handle those things? I think the best way to be prepared is to be looking at your account health dashboard and your performance notifications on a daily basis. That way, at least you know what's coming your way and, and you're familiar with the things that are happening with your account. Uh, other ways that you can be prepared, uh, I think have everything to do with uh, sourcing. You know, what, what you source and how you get the products that you're selling are, are really important. It's on, you think of that as uh, the food that you're consuming, you know, in terms of your overall personal health, um, where you get the food, how it's prepared, uh, you know, all those kinds of things. It's a pretty close analogy. And, and so, you know, the food you eat or the products you sell, that's, that's everything. And, and a significant part of that is um, prep for those products. So the packaging um, and how, how you protect it when it's being shipped to Amazon or shipped to the consumer, which is like, hey, you know, put your food in the refrigerator, uh, put it in a sealed dish, make sure it's frozen. Um, if we're talking about food and if we're talking about products, you just want to make sure that the items that you're selling don't get damaged, um, that they remain intact. And that will avoid a lot of buyer complaints. Yeah, absolutely. I know uh, most most sellers, at least in the community, you know, that we're a part of, uh, try to package things as if they were receiving them too. Because um, if you're brand new, though, for whatever reason, and, and you don't know these things, Amazon's warehouses are super dirty. Things get thrown around all the time. So you need to make sure that they are prepared to be, you know, 
handled pretty um, difficultly or strongly, I guess, uh, in Amazon's warehouses. So yeah, hundred percent agree with that. Uh, also, I know we had mentioned a little bit earlier, just kind of when we were communicating uh, through uh, messenger that uh, it might be a good idea for sellers to set aside a little bit of money as um, you know, they're, they're getting their disbursements from Amazon so that just in case an account health issue comes up, they've got like a pot of money that they can use to work with an expert if something did come up. Um, so what are your thoughts there? I mean, do you have anything uh, further to elaborate on that? I mean, I like to think of uh, running your business with a budget the way that you would run your regular life expenses. You know, you want to have some money set aside that you could replace a uh, water heater if it goes out, or you could have your car repaired uh, in an emergency. And in some ways it makes sense to have uh, money set aside to help in a situation where you have an account health problem that you can't resolve on your own, or where you, you just want a little bit of advice. We're really easy to get a hold of and really easy to work with. And if you just have a question or if you need a pointer, or if you need somebody to review something, or you, you don't want to be just sitting there beating your head against the wall, not knowing the answer to something or wondering if what you're doing is okay. Uh, we're, we're really easy to get a hold of in sort of, you know, bite-sized pieces where you could pay for 15 minutes of time or half an hour, an hour. It doesn't have to be some sort of big engagement. We don't require, um, you know, somebody to sign a contract. We don't require a monthly commitment, anything like that. And so, I try to remove those barrier, barriers to entry so that people can get help when they need it instead of, you know, putting things off. It's like, you know, if you're sick, uh, you, you hope that you get better soon. But if you're not getting better and you have this sort of nagging problem and the, the pain somewhere doesn't go away, uh, a lot of people put off going to the doctor forever, but that doesn't necessarily make the situation better. And so... Uh, you know, I want I want to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to get to an expert for the help that you need when you need it. Yeah, absolutely. And I know uh, there's a lot of sellers that use uh, profit first methods for bookkeeping, and they'll have some money set aside for profit and uh, other expenses. And I actually did videos, uh, you know, on YouTube and, and in the private replens group on profit first. So you could either have, you know, a certain percentage that's in maybe your profit account that you're keeping just in case, or you could set up another account that's just for uh, the account health portion if you did come up with issues. So um, if you don't know about profit first, and you're interested in that, make sure to check out those videos, whether you're in the private group or on YouTube, either way works. But uh, I think that that would be the best an easiest way for new sellers and experienced sellers to kind of start building up that budget. Um, so yeah, one, perfect. One, okay. one of the other things that um, you, you mentioned as far as the, the question, how do you avoid these things? How do you be best prepared to handle account health situations? There, there's one step that I see a lot of sellers skip. And so, you know, if you're selling on Amazon today, don't skip this step. If you've been selling on a uh, platform for a long time, you can always go back and fix this by, being as familiar as possible with Amazon's terms of service. So you want to be reading the seller code of conduct. You want to spend some time in, in Amazon's help section uh, in your, in your, uh, you know, your account health dashboard over on the top right hand corner, there's a help section. You, you can type in seller code of conduct. You can type in Amazon's business solutions or business services agreement. All, all those things you want to be reading about uh, Amazon's guidelines for condition um, and, be, and be super familiar with what their definition of new is. Uh, you want to be familiar with their guidelines for packaging. All those things, don't skip over that. You know, I, some people hate to read the instructions. In this case, you really want to be familiar with what Amazon's expectations are of you. And you want to be familiar with what their policies are with regard to some of the kinds of things that you're going to come across having to do with restricted products, having to do with packaging, condition guidelines, um, intellectual property complaints, all those kinds of things. It's super important to read through it. It's, you know, dry as all get out and hard to get through, but you still want to read through it. And, and if it's too difficult for you to wade through, if it's too challenging, at least go through Seller University at a, at a very minimum. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, 
definitely good, good reading if you're having trouble sleeping, that's for sure. So uh, <laughs> it's very dry. Hey, thank you so much for checking out that video with Scott Margolius. Uh, he is such a wealth of information. So again, as I mentioned at the beginning, I highly recommend checking out his website, ecomsellertools.com, and also checking out his book, Amazon Plans of Action, Proven Tactics for Winning Appeals. Um, both resources are amazing, and I highly recommend looking at both of them. Also, uh, as I mentioned, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, it would really benefit me and help me to, to know that I'm doing a good job, that you like this content. And if you'd like to see more from Scott, uh, please let me know in the comments. If you've got any specific questions for him that you'd like to see him answer, please let me know that too. Uh, I do plan on making uh, and sending more of these onto YouTube, some of the, the mini videos. And so uh, I will have that playlist available to you and it might actually already be available to you depending on when you see this video. So thank you so much for watching this and I hope that you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.